think it's now recording and I'm just going to show you how to use Google Classroom. So for today, um, I'm actually logged into my other email account. So if once you log in on Gmail, you can actually access different um, you know, features that Google offer. And on this part, you can see nine dots. You can see there the Google Apps. So if you click this, you just have to find Classroom. So when you click Google Classroom, it will open to a new tab. And here, here are the classes that I have. So you, I have Trial Class 10, Trial Class Humes, Trial Class ABM, and then Trial Class 4, 3, 12. If I'm going to go back to my Gmail account, every time a teacher posts something, I will be receiving an email. So as you can see in here, it says, Hi, Resident, Resident Bago posted the new announcement in Trial Class SHS 12. So say, for example, this one of my classrooms, then I can just click open, or I can just go to Google Classroom and open it here, right? Let's try it first from the Gmail account. So I click open, then it goes up, and it takes me straight to the trial class classroom. It says, good afternoon, we're gonna have we're gonna start the demo class tomorrow. Make sure to log into the Google Classroom every day from tomorrow for the lessons and activities. And if I click it from here, this is the Google Classroom app. This is what I'm gonna see. So you have three parts, let me just close this one. You've got three parts, you have the stream, classroom, and people. We had several trial classes in May. I think that's May and early June. So there are actually other posts in here. But for this week, the post started on this part. So that was the message that we read earlier. And then President Bago, the teacher, posted a new assignment activity. President Bago posted a new material. President Bago posted a new activity. Did I post it twice? Sorry. Well, anyway, so let's open the material first. You click it once. And then it says the instruction is download the file and familiarize yourself with the features of Google Classroom. So there is this PDF file attached to this. You just have to click it. There you go. And then you'll be able to view the PDF file. So once you receive a file from your, your teacher, it's either a PDF file or a document or let's say a PPT, PowerPoint file, then you just click it and then it will open. And then you close this one. And that's it. That's the only content of this material. And now you can go back by clicking the back button here or or let's say you're in this part you can just click the classroom okay and then if you want to access the activity i posted it twice so I'll just click this one there you go this is what you're going to see so it's activity the student's quick guide to google classroom the instruction is join the classrooms on google classroom which codes you have received Take a screenshot of your Google Classroom homepage and attach the image file here before handing in your work. So if you're using a laptop, you can just use the sniffing tool or green screen and save it. And then let's try it. So I already have my, I need to join the classrooms, but I already joined four. And then I have to take a screenshot of my homepage. So I click this three bars and then classes to go to the home home page and then this is what I'm going to see if you have a lot of classes then those this will also be four but since I have only four and you need to take a screenshot I'm going to be using sleeping tool for for this one 
and then I'm going to save it. Save it on the desktop. Try out this. Demo. Oops, sorry. Save that. Save it. Okay, let's see. Okay. This is the file. So I'm going to go back to the home page. And that was in SHS. So remember, we were on this page. So I just need to add or create. I can add a file because I saved it on the desktop. In here, I need to upload it first. Click browse. I saved it on the desktop under my account. This one, demo class. So I just need to upload it. The same way you upload files on Facebook and on Gmail. So it's already there. Once I'm done, I just need to click turn it. One attachment will be submitted for activities to this quick guide to Google Classroom. And then this is my file and I click turn it. I just have to wait a little. And there. If you see on submit, it means you're able to successfully turn in your work. Okay, let's go back. So that's it. Every time your teacher posts an activity, you would see it here. And on this side, you would see the due date. So this activity is due at 11.59 p.m. today. No other content, right? Okay, so I think this was before. So again, I said there are three parts, three sub-pages. You have the stream. It works like the timeline in your Facebook. And then the next one is the classwork. This is where you're going to see all the activities. So you have the trial classes that we had in May. And then this one is for this week, the demo class from August 17th to 21. This were the files we used in May with grade 12 students. So this part would be people. This will tell you who the students are in the class. So this is me, Leslie Paco, and then the students. I have 29 students in this class, and we have their names in here. There you go. So you would see who your classmates are. And basically, that's it. I just want to show you how it would be, because in this account, I only have four classes. But in my other account, this is the one that I use. That I'm going to use this school year. So I actually handle different classes. So this is how your Google Classroom would look like at the end of the school year because you would have other subjects this coming semester. So you have the name of the classrooms. I have UCSP, Creative Nonfiction will be mine, but I joined her class. So basically, this is this is it. In my next videos, I'll be showing you how to access other files, say, for example, Google Classroom or Google Sheets, so that you know how to use them. Okay? Going back uh, to my other. All right, that's it. If you have any other questions on how to access your files in Google Classroom, you may send me a message. Thank you. Shout out to student Kong si Joseph Romera and please follow my students' channels here, Donita Salazar and Astro Geek.